Today we are going to destroy an ecosystem. The plan is to take the diplomat and go for the sludge corp era. Now the reason I'm taking the diplomat here, uh, sludge corp, the whole goal is to build up as much food as you can by the start of the third era and then turn all that sludge into, or turn all that food into sludge and distribute it to a bunch of other cities. I like this thematically with the diplomat because the diplomat wants to have a lot of other cities on the planet. So we're befriending everybody, growing everything, and then we betray them all and make sludge and then sell it to them. It sounds fun. It sounds fun. So we're going to go with that. I think more competitively, I say with air quotes, would uh, I think the huntress and the goddess would be much better for this sort of thing. Actually, maybe not the goddess because she, she's interested in gold, so we wouldn't be building up a whole lot of food. So really the huntress is ideal here because the herbivores have a lot of food benefits, which we saw a couple days ago when we played with the African elephant. Um... I think that would probably be the best way of going about it, but I want to play with the Diplomat. So we'll start with the Forest Giant. We'll take the Ocean Giant because we need the Ocean, of course. And then we just played with the Rock Giant, so let's take the Frost one instead. First things first, I... Well, I can't place my village in the ocean, so we need to put down a non-ocean tile. Let's do that. And so what I'm going to do is have this settlement focus on food and then try to get the other settlements to focus on something other than food in other biomes. So we'll figure that one out when we see what nomad options we have. I'm not sure which biomes we're going to use necessarily. And I also want to give these, this settlement a fair amount of space in the waters. I believe there's over 15 expanse things. Oh, look at that. They want to go to the left. Let's give them some ocean to the left. Over 15 expanse things, so I would need, well, over 7 tiles of ocean. I don't know how many of those expanse things require the deep, I think a fair number of them do. But we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to start with 7. Might just do that. And I'm going to avoid putting another settlement on the other side of this ocean, so that we know that it belongs specifically to Northern Grove Shrines. We'll see which nomads we get for the other biomes, but I think I'm going to try setting a biome down pretty close to this side of Northern Grove Shrines, and then another one pretty close, because if I need to... See, here's the thing. We have four tiles of shore, and then only three tiles of deep. And I think we might need more than three tiles of deep. So we will probably need to expand the shore further. There are expansion charges, and since we're planning on going for food, we will have access to expansion charges and nomad charges. So this works pretty well. Let's start off by giving them some herring, which, by the way, is an expanse thing. The reason expanse matters... Oh, clownfish are so good, though. Clownfish are really good for starting. Except, that's right, Northern Grove Shrines does not care about mystery, which is kind of a bummer because the ocean is really good for getting mystery stuff. Let's start with the herring. I might even just put multiple herring down. Do we have any good food? Uh, adjacent to at least one fish. We'll put a kelp down. Yeah, so actually, I guess what we want to do is make this ocean fairly large and then have another city over here that can make use of the mystery things. And Northern Grove will just focus on food. That would probably be a good way of going about it. In which case, we need to determine how large we want to make the ocean. Who is our nomad? We have the Pirate Queen? Well, that's ideal. The Pirate Queen and the Miner. I think we're taking the Pirate Queen here. They love the high seas and gold. Perfect. We'd love to give you some gold in the high seas. How far do we expand this ocean? If there are two of them wanting to expand here, I think it's safe to make this decently large. So let's let's go for another one, two, three. Is three too much? Two. Let's go with three. Hmm. Might be too much. Or it might not be enough, who knows. What inspirations do we have? The fishing hut seems reasonable to me. Fruit picker, trapper, stone cutter. I'm going to go with the fishing hut. And we do have a draft, so let's have a look at that. Drafting, the ocean. Now, I have two rerolls. Oh, we can't reroll the first thing, but there's an expanse right here. So normally I would say, hey, look, pearls, they give a lot of prosperity. They give a lot of gold right off the bat. I'm going to take the tuna because it's an expanse, which we want. Comes with the sucker fish and anchovies, which are also expanse. This is perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Excellent. 
And these nomads, they need a spot to actually settle. I'm going to give them... Let's give them the taiga. There you go. Is this enough? One, two, three, four, five. Like, I think so. Because we can kind of group the most relevant food things over here and the most relevant gold things over here. That'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, you guys, they're already on their way. They know where the location is. There you are. We need to give them some wealth. Oh, the neutral village. They want three cities with ten prosperity. Hmm. I think the first step is to give them some mystery, actually, because we know that the Pirate Queen likes mystery, and Sea Anemone is really good for that. I'm going to put it right here, or out here. I'm going to put it out here. And then we'll try to surround it with clownfish. There are suckerfish as well, which would be a good thing to give them. Put on this side of the ocean. The tuna is great for Northern Grove Shrines. 20 for each adjacent fish biotic. That is quite good. So this thing gets up to 80 food, and it's a one star for two biodiversity. That is really nice. If I were to put it here, up to three. So if I put it here, we could just put a couple other fish over there, such as anchovy. Anchovy are a good one because they get additional biodiversity for being next to other anchovy. So I might even just do that right away. Um, I'm waiting on the draft to... S Let's see what the nomads are. The Huntress and the Sage, they both want food, unfortunately. So that's quite bad for us. The reason that's bad is because the food on the planet is just going to disappear. So between the two, the Huntress is better because it's a split between food and gold. We'll take her. Now, as far as settling locations... How close can we put them? And it's going to say we can't settle on Wasteland, so we know that. But how close can we settle them to North Grove Cove? And where do we want to sell them? I think taiga animals could be interesting. I think the taiga animals probably have a lot of gold on them. And a decent amount of food. Let's do that. So I'm technically expanding the taiga, but I'm not going to put this tile down because we want to block North Grove Cove from going over there. We'd rather they expand into the ocean. Let's go this way and we'll just start with that for now. And then see where the nomads can settle. Try and put them as close to North Grove Cove as possible. And the reason for that is just that we can try and give them very little space to work with. So this is too close, this is too close, this is too close. This is just right. So they do need a fair amount of space. Since we know we've got the taiga, we can draft in the taiga now. Copper, potato, and foxes. Uh, they do want animals generally, so foxes would be a great choice. One star, it does take four biodiversity, but getting... 80 gold is not bad. Cheroit is fine. Red-backed bull gives some additional biodiversity if we have enough rugged. But they themselves reduce the number, the amount of rugged there is, so I don't know. I don't remember if the Huntress actually requires... Animal. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Two animals within borders. She absolutely does. Let's get the fox. Otherwise, the potato would be a potential idea. And they will be settling there. We're going to start off by going in this direction. That'll be one... Uh, they're settling right there. So one, two, three tiles. And we could maybe influence them to expand here before North Grove Cove does. Ashwood City. Oh, they want to go left. Really, you guys? You got all this space over here. Hmm. How foolish these mortals be. Let's put down red-backed bull, rabbit, stoat. I think we're going to put the red-backed bull on the stoat. And then a fox. Oh, we'll need to put all three at some point. And they actually, specifically, they want food. So a rabbit start. I'm going to put the voles down over here. I want them to expand over here. There you go. That was easy. And then stoats can go beside the rabbit. Except that doesn't help us with food. We need some more food. They got five more from those bowls. I'd be better off just putting another rabbit down, I guess. Not very exciting. And it reduces the amount of rugged we have. Carrots is not a great food start. 
Hmm, maybe it's hard to do food in the taiga. Rabbits? Hmm. Alright, we'll do it. He gets them their population. Okay, there we go. Oh, they need 10 prosperity, that's right. So we still need to build them up for our neutral village. Uh, stoat is probably the way to go. So we'll put a stoat down right here beside the rabbit. That way we get the additional gold on it. And then I need one more biodiversity for the fox. That's weird that it went to minus one there. I don't know why that would be. One more biodiversity for the fox. Well, there's a fir tree. We know they'll want gold at some point, so I could also put this down. Cheroit. Gives an additional mystery if there is enough rugged. Will we have enough rugged? I don't think so. Let's just put the gate down. Um... How close are they to expanding? They're disinterested, so we may as well put it down in the lands that they have access to. They have border on. But after that, we're going to try and get them to go right. Yeah, the gate down here. More foodstuffs. Like, the carrot is another option. It's adjacent to a plant, but it doesn't give much. Two carrots gets us the additional, the equivalent of two rabbits. Hmm. All right, let's do this. I have this guy come over here and put a fox. They will be no, they're still disinterested. Oh no. Well, never mind then. I guess we're putting a fox over here. That's okay. No biggie. Will this get them ten prosperity? Pretty good. Oh yeah, and the diplomat. Oh, that's right. I forgot about how good the diplomat spirit was. I love it. So, anything that's the apex biotica. So the tuna, for example. Let's get over here and, and put the tuna down. That's exciting to me. Neon Grove Cove needs to be improved as well. Two is most, most interesting. They are now interesting expansion, so if we were to put something outside their borders, then they would go for it. They are at 10 prosperity, so that's nice. We can leave them for a little while. Their next request is going to be for more food, though, so I don't know how, how we're going to get that. We'll need draft charges from something else. From completing other requests that we can get that. Um, some new stuff unlocked in the taiga. Hopefully some animals. And anchovy, suckerfish. The suckerfish is going over here. We know that for sure. I'm putting anchovy here and here. But the time has come for a new era. So we'll press continue. And between the Monument Age and the Neolithic Revolution, this thing wants plants. We're not really aiming for plants. Monument Age for the Huntress. Um, It's not bad. Is it worth doing? 10 Yama... 10 Eon Limit is really nice. I don't think I want to do that. I think we're just going to go for the Calamera. Because this will be very distracting. We'll have to put Element Biotica. Not difficult. We can just put a couple stone down and that'll be good. The Huntress has 13 gold. Is probably where we're going to end up being anyways. But then the Huntress has 40 prosperity. That can actually take a fair amount of work. So we're going to go for the Calamera instead. Just gain some rerolls, which is actually handy. More rerolls means more expanse creatures in the ocean. Or we can more reasonably guarantee that we will get them. And I want to put another anchovy down just for the sake of it. There we go. Are they expanding again? I think so. Wow. That was easy. Now, more clownfish over here. Oh, what do they want? Ocean Shrine. If there are four distinct ocean biotech within borders, then they get 15 mystery. That's really good. I'm going to take it, because it's really good, but one concern is that we're not going to have a whole lot of distinct stuff when I'm putting a bunch of clownfish down instead. They, there's a three predators thing. Three predator biotica. How many of those do we have? Uh, none. <laughs> so it's just the tuna. 
Okay. Alright, never mind. Don't take the predator one. The fishing hut would be the easiest for sure. 100 food. But the ocean shrine is the most rewarding. So let's do that. And towards that end, we're going to put down... Well, the sucking fish is not very helpful. But we do need to put distinct ocean biotica, right? So let's put them... Oh, I don't know. Somewhere. Pirate village, they want mostly wealth, but they also want population. I didn't realize they would also want the population. Maybe we put a tuna down here too. Tuna, clownfish, suckerfish. We can do that. That would fulfill their requirement for food, I'm sure. It would get us closer. This is for each distinct predator, so it's not boosted by having two different tuna, but tuna's just so good, I'm going to do it. What just got completed? Oh, is that Palmer's? What? Apparently we completed North Grove Shrine's request. Oh, yeah, 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 because it, they wanted 10 prosperity on the other cities. Fair enough. Ocean drafting, mud volcano, sea turtle, and octopus. The octopus is great. But, as far as expanse is concerned, these other two are the options. So, expanse, and expanse, we get some other expanse stuff here. This one is expanse, this one is not. So, we get a total of three expanse items here. One of them is a sea turtle. I think that's pretty cool. These things are minerals, less interesting to me, but we'll still want them eventually. Sun coral, tag coral if adjacent to a mineral. Okay. And seagrass if not adjacent to an expanse biotica. Right. It's a one star, so it's pretty easy to put down. And then the jellyfish, they're, if they're adjacent to two distinct plants, they give some additional mystery. Not the greatest. I don't know if we'll be using them, but maybe. The sea turtle wants a bunch of plants too. Oh, hang on. Distinct plants in this biome. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll have some. We already see two expanse plants, so we want them down anyway. Uh, and then for them, I wanted more clownfish. And a suckerfish. Okay. Is that going to be much wealth? Not really. Oh, actually it will be, because once they expand, they'll get a bunch of mystery. And each mystery gives them five wealth. Yeah, that should be good. The Diplomat Town, they're ready with their next request. Ashwood City is waiting for something. Uh, trapper, Fishing Hut, or Hunter? The Fishing Hut gives the most food, and I think food is where we're going to have some troubles here in the Taiga. But, <laughs> it's a Fishing Hut, so we can't use it. But the Hunter would be three distinct animals and borders. We have that. I think the gold is going to be much easier to come by, so let's take the Trapper. Or, not the Trapper, but the other one. I need one more draft charge to draft in the Taiga. And we should maybe consider buying a Nomad Charge to put down here. Let's figure that out once we're working into a third biome, because after getting the Taiga in the ocean, we need a third biome before we can get more ocean. So between the forest and the rainforest, I'm not sure which one we'll take. We'll figure that out when we get to it. Earth Grove Cove. You guys should have a lot more wealth coming in. That's a decent amount. It will get them to eight... Eight wealth, which is enough for that draft charge. We only need two more population for Ashwood City. That's nice. The hunter helped a lot. Or one more. They, they only need 12 more or 13 more food. I can put a rabbit down and they're good. That's great. Draft charge in the taiga. Maybe we can draft something different though. A mouflon. 35 food for each undergrowth biotic in this biome. So it wants plants. I don't really want to be taking food stuff. Again, because of the sludge factory thing. Night jar, all fruit biotica in the biome gain three rugged. That's pretty nice. Comes with a couple of fruit biotica and a crossbill. Hmm. Gypsum gives science. Oh yeah, gypsum's really good. 100% science if this biotica is six patches away from the closest city, but 25 flat science for each distinct element biotica in this biome. That's really good for a two-star. It's incredible. The taiga has so much cool stuff. Caribou, this is all very food-focused. So I think I'm taking the night jar here. All fruit biotica. I know that the fruit do have food on them. 
Each adjacent fruit or bird biotic gives five mystery. Night jar is so good. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. We played with the night jar before, and it did work out quite well. So Huntress Village, a little bit more food. We can do that. Secondary will start in 30 eons, so I have some time. Crossbill, if I just throw... Hmm. Can't put a night jar down right now. So we have the Rowan. If this biome has rugged, but it reduces the rugged because it's food. Actually, you know what? This might be harder than I thought. We can't put any two star down. Maybe I literally just put a rabbit. These bulls want six rugged, so uh, me putting down a mineral is not quite enough. I could put a second rug, a uh, second mineral, but that's not going to get us fifteen food anyway because they only gained five. So I think I actually just put another rabbit down. It's pretty silly. We get ten from this. All right. Okay. More rabbits. Ashwood City is not very interesting. On to the Diplomat Town. We have the tuna. They are happy with their fishing hut. I think we just try to build up their prosperity as much as we can. Oh, right. Three cities with 25 prosperity. Hmm. Ashwood City is probably not going to be the one. But we do get a draft charge. So this... We can use for anything other than the ocean taiga. We have the options of rainforest and forest. Actually, it says that. Is that true? There's the forest. There's the ocean. Oh, we've got so much overlap. I didn't think of that when picking the giants. Rainforest and forest it is. Uh, rainforest is probably going to be the one we go for. Let's buy ourselves a nomad charge and see who we get. Hmm, the botanist and the goddess. I guess the goddess it is, but the rainforest isn't even very good for gold. Do we put her in the taiga as well and focus on gold there? Science and food from plants. So that's what the botanist wants. We could get a good amount of science, but if he's looking for food, we've got a problem again. I could probably do it though. Let's take the botanist and go for the rainforest. Definitely can make some science there. Um, oops, not that button. We want to terraform a rainforest. Now, I think I also need an expansion charge before we do this. Let's buy one of those. Actually, let's buy two of those. We're going to need a lot of land. Expand this area, please. I picked the giant that was furthest away. Whoa. There it goes. Terraform again. And so this gives us some room for the rainforest. I'm going to put the rainforest... Ooh, how much space do we want to give? I guess it's okay to have them somewhat near Northern Grove Shrines, since Northern Grove Shrines is just focused on this ocean here. Yeah, that's fine then. Let's do this. Over this way. That's a good amount of land. Now, these nomads are going to have to move over again. Sorry, guys. It's good to get the exercise, though. Over here. And we do have the draft charge. Let's pick for the rainforest. Banana, Gumbo Limbo, and Scarlet Macaw. Well, we're going for the Gumbo Limbo. That is the obvious choice to me. Banana gives more food. Scarlet Macaw is for animals with gold, but we want science from plants. And Gumbo Limbo is a plant that gives science. And quite a fair amount of it, too. Botanist wants a co four combined population and technology. That's perfect. I actually forgot that they had this combined thing, so it actually doesn't matter which of those we're doing. Excellent. Uh, in terms of starting our science adventures, Gumbo Limbo and Ramontri. Just putting a Ramontri allows us to put a Gumbo Limbo. Of course, the Gumbo Limbo wouldn't have any boost because there's no surplus biodiversity when we use the two that we got from the Ramontri. But it's nice to have. And we could actually just put other things down. Adjacent to a tree with a flint, stone is pretty good too. Oh, these are great. We'll see where their borders start off. I don't know if they'll go left or right. Everybody else has been going left, although I guess North Grove Cove went right. Yeah, I think Ashwood City is probably going to be our lowest prosperity city. 
just because of how difficult it is to get food on the animals there. And also, I'm like, I'm, I'm specifically avoiding getting food on them. All right, there we go. Settlement. Oh, whole screen just flipped around. Rainton and Ramon trees. We're going to start by putting these two things over here. And the Ramon tree will go over here. And then a gumbo limbo. Right there, perfect. And this will have a stone. And they decided to expand in that direction. Okay, guys, sure. You do your thing. <laughs> oh, a mineral booster. So these things have all their symbioses going on. This is perfect. This could use some more diversity, which we'll work on. There, what, what are you guys doing expanding over that way? All right. If you want to, that's fine. You're allowed to. It's your land. They're going to expand there eventually anyways. More Gumbo Limbo. Ooh. Honestly, more Ramon trees is probably the way. But we're at 10. Oh, we want to be at 25 prosperity. Yeah, that's right. So we have a fair amount to go. The Pirate Town. They want a bunch of gold and a fair amount of prosperity or population as well. I haven't given them a whole lot. They've made do with it. This tuna is very helpful. Do I... Well, who's at what? Hang on. These guys, they don't have 25 prosperity. So if I just got them 25 prosperity, that would be good enough. They have 24. Wow. Oh. They have 14. They apparently have 26. Oh, okay. Ashwood City already figured things out. They have 28. Is somebody inventing things? Is that what's happening? Well, I'm surprised they have so much, but that's nice. These guys invented primitive tools. Always a good first invention. Let's get Northern Grove Shrines going. Their tuna is good to go. We need more expanse food things. Seagrass, if not next to an expanse biotica. This is an expanse biotica. This is an expanse biotica. This is an expanse biotica. It's been a little bit difficult to avoid putting them next to other expanse biotica. Um, Reef, help, sun coral. That's a two star, so we can't use it just yet. Jellyfish. Okay, all right. So what would be good? And they just care about general prosperity, which is nice. I guess that is one way that this is maybe an optimal... Not an optimal way, but maybe a good way to go about it, because these expanse, right? Sea turtles, they're not food. So if we were the Huntress, the Huntress wouldn't benefit from having a sea turtle. Although, again, I would just put it over here with the Pirate Queen, so I don't know. In fact, I most likely will. Anyways... Yeah, seagrass doesn't have a good spot. If I were to put it... Hmm. Well, I'm not too sure what the best way to go about this is. It's only five more eons, so I could just put things down and so be it. If I were to put another kelp down, actually. Yeah. We can put another kelp here, and we can put a jellyfish there, just for the diversity. The jellyfish itself doesn't help us much. Actually, it doesn't help us. <laughs> so, this kelp is maybe a waste. Oh well. We'll go to the new era and see what we get. Um, calm era completed with three stars. Perfect. A draft charge, a micro charge, and some diversity prosperity. And in this age, castles and knights. The diplomat has food. Perfect. The botanist has science. Perfect. And the pirate queen has gold. You know what? We might take this. What did the revolution do? Huntress has food. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Five predators on the planet. Uh, I don't think we're going to do that one. Let's go with castles and knights. Each leader builds a unique castle. They're, the castles are fine. They're not super exciting. Actually, shoot. The castles might not be very good for us. But also, it's not difficult to do this. We gain two aspect charges, which is... I still don't know if I've ever used that. This would give us two rerolls. Ah, well, let's go with Castles Knights. I like that it left the Hunter's Town out of that. The North Grove Cove has a fishing fleet for food, amulet smith, and tavern. I think the tavern and fishing fleet are both very good choices for us. We'll probably take the fishing fleet because we're, once again, mainly focusing on gold over here. So we need to get some amount of food. 
We'll do that. Six fish biotic with and Certainly can put enough down to satisfy that requirement. And we're in the second era, so we can actually put things like turtles down. Tavern, fishing fleet, and butcher. The butcher. Five distinct animals that have a base food yield with and gives 200 food. We certainly don't have enough for that right now. The tavern, just for having distinct animals, probably our best bet. Five distinct animals. Uh, we do have another draft, though. Let's look at the ocean first, because that's what I care about. Surgeon fish, nope. Titanfall, Expanse, White Shark, Expanse. Ooh, but there's not a whole lot that comes along with White Shark, so we're not going to take that one. We have this one that comes along with two more Expanse, one of them being Barrel Eyes. I love Barrel Eyes. They're so good. Just free biodiversity and then mystery. They'd be going where the Pirate Queen is has territory, though, because the mystery doesn't mean much to our diplomat. Anglerfish can only be placed in the deep. Four gold, oh, 0.4 gold for each science in the adjacent biotech with the highest science. Well, we don't have a whole lot of that going on, but... The Titanfall itself has a decent amount, so when we get to the third era, it would be useful. Hmm. Expanse, Element, Titan. I think we'll take Titanfall. What's up? What else is there? There's Reef stuff. I do want to do a run with the Reef stuff. That seems really neat. Distinct Coral Biodicum in this biome. Distinct Adjacent Reef Biodicum. That could get to be huge. We'll go with Titanfall here. Not so much for the Titanfall itself as for the Barrel Eyes, really. Ashwood City. Yeah, let's wait until we get some more draft charges. We'll draft the taiga next and see what we can get for animals. Northern Co Grove Shrines. You guys have a statue. No, we're not using the statue. Animal breeders. A hundred of each resource if there are four domesticatable, domesticable biotica within borders. I don't think any fish are domesticable. Is that right? <laughs> I'd be very surprised if they were. We each do and train them to go through hoops. Um... No. So we're not taking that one. Even though I really like that one. Cake baker for fruits? Nope. Tavern. Tavern it is. Six distinct animals within borders. Well, we rate. Now we have three. There's some work to go on that. North Grove Cove. The diplomat has ten food. We're already there. That's great. The botanist has ten science. And the pirate queen has ten gold. I'm surprised we don't have that. Huh. Fishing fleet. Distinct gem biodicum. See, that's the thing. Fort Fantastique. We're not getting that done. Uh, herbivore biotic with borders. Okay, we can do some of that. And then distinct construction biotic with borders. Well, we've got one. I don't think there's much construction stuff in the rainforest. Yeah, the taiga is really good for construction biotica. There's a lot there. So yeah, these castles are not doing much for us. That's okay. I don't mind. Um, Actually, hold on. Why would I focus on Ashwood City? No, our next draft is going to go to the rainforest. Heart Town. So a good start here would be to aim for the sea turtle and barrel eyes for Pirate Town. We can do that. Each distinct plants in this biome. Not a whole lot of those, but it helps. The barrel eyes would be much better. Actually, this takes five biodiversity. That's kind of expensive. If I were to replace this tuna, though, we gain four back. And then we put a sea turtle down. Let's do that. Yeah, our sea anemone, or... Oh yeah, the clownfish is happy, actually. The sea anemone, sea anemone doesn't care how many clownfish there are around it. Let's get over here. Upgrade that. And they were looking for just any fish. I don't think that turtle counts as a fish, though. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Paralyze does. So we're actually reducing the number of fish in our borders. Oh, well. Turtle, there's a plant booster there. Is there a two-star plant we want to put down? Sun coral gets 30 science and tag coral if adjacent to a mineral. We're going to put that over here because Northern Grove is happy with any kind of prosperity. So science is more useful to them. On this side, the barrel eyes and the sea turtle are what we're putting down. Unless we want to put another plant. Sea anemone, sea grass, no, none of those are great. So we'll put the sea turtle on the plant buzzer since he likes plants. Seems fitting. And that barrel eyes for sure. Okay, so that should be a fair amount of gold. This mystery here. 
This guy coming in. 165? The previous tuna had 20? Huh. That diplomat spirit is helpful. Okay, so they're getting wealth, and that is going to get them... Well, not to 25. We need more fish. More fish for the food. But also we need a lot more gold. How are we going to boost their gold output? Hmm. Minerals near the sun coral. What minerals would we put down? A gate, a bedrock, a manganese. Oh, look at this. Manganese? When did we get that? 40 technology if there are 5 minerals in this biome. That's not happening. I'm not planning on it happening anyway. None of those are expanse, so I don't really care about them. Uh, oh, this one gives biodiversity. Right, right, right. So I could put that down. But I want to put that down... Oh, well, it wants to be next to a plant. And we've got that coral. Let's upgrade a tile out here. Which tile should we upgrade? Should we just upgrade the tuna again? It's only two biodiversity, but we lock it in. We're happy to lock it in. Let's do that. We lose an anchovy though. I'm kind of okay with that. We can put another anchovy down if we really want to. There's a plant booster over this way. We received a science booster. Eh, it's alright. This would be 50 science. The bedrock would be... 15. So we'll put it like this. We put this on a 2 star. What else do we have for 2 star? We just have the sun coral and then. Or barrel eyes, I guess. But again, the mystery is not so good for this place. Hmm. Do I just put another tuna down? No, because there won't be three fish around it unless we remove this kelp put something else there and then I would put the mineral here and the plant here which is kind of backwards and yeah, we could do that just boost more tuna we're gonna want tuna so yeah this guy you're putting the sun coral here on the science booster which is handy you are putting a better off. And what should we put as our animal up here? Jellyfish. Distinct biotica. I guess we could put the kelp over one. But again, the mystery doesn't help us much there. So... I have herring already. Doesn't really matter what we put. We can just put more herring. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Just whatever animal. Now this thing is giving us 75. Not bad. And a biodiversity. This thing is giving us biodiversity. So we actually have 10 biodiversity right now. That's pretty good. The tavern wants more distinct animals. Oh, distinct animals within borders. Right. Alright, so I made the mistake by putting the herring down. Let's put something else. Uh, sucker fish. Jellyfish. Oh, maybe I should have... Well, we, we're good to have the tuna here. But I might need to upgrade another spot and put a barrel eyes down. Hmm. We still don't have, really have any predators. For drafting, let's go with the, with the rainforest. Rainforest, hematite, obsidian, and capybara. We only care about science. The obsidian is good. 40 science for each distinct adjacent minerals. So we could get a decent amount there. And 25% more science for each other distinct volcanic bioticum on the planet. You know what? There's a decent amount of volcanic bioticum for the ocean. Oh, and bamboo too. That's a construction. Okay, let's take this. Um, now we're still happy with the tuna. I need to put some other animal here. Adjacent to a fish, so it doesn't care what it's next to, as well as the fish. Sucker fish is distinct. It's either that or a clownfish. Sucker fish gives them a little bit more. Okay, so they were already getting the food. 
We get a little bit from the tavern. Obviously, we want to maximize this by putting two more distinct animals within borders. I think we'll be doing that by upgrading a tile. Before I upgrade the tile... Oh, we're running out of space here. Hold on. Do I need to put an expansion charge between these two? Because this is the only area they have to work in. Yeah, let's do that. Expansion charge. Expand the oceans, please. Oh, these guys have an inspiration, by the way. A woodcutter, algae farm, or herbalist. Three undergrowth biotica within borders. Three trees within borders. We can definitely get the three trees within borders. Like, I have no doubt about that. So let's take it. And should I focus on them now a little bit? They don't get us any draft charges, though. Animals within borders. We have a long ways to go with the Hunter's Town. I'm just kind of ignoring them at this point. The Pirate Town. They are... Well, eight more wealth is going to be a bit of a struggle. I don't know why I'm focusing so much on Northern Grove. Need a lot more food. Okay, well, we just need to put one more plant down here to make them happy, and then that actually boosts a lot of stuff because of the diplomat ability. Let's put that bamboo down. At least two adjacent plant biotica. Very worth it. And it's a construction thing, so we get to help the chateau a little bit. Oh, is it, it's not a tree, though. We need to put another tree down. Well, papaya is different. Put a papaya down. Actually, it doesn't care where we put the papaya, so we'll put it on the other side. Like that. Ooh, they've made sashimi. What does sashimi do? Three population, not bad. Okay, so these guys have their woodcutter bonus, that's good. Northern Grove, we definitely want to make sure that we get these distinct things before the end of the era. But these guys need their fishing fleet. Well, they don't... Ah, they, they, they do need their fishing fleet. Hmm, I kind of wish I'd gotten fishing fleet for the Northern Grove Shrines. But, uh, yeah. Fishing fleet. Uh, we need to make more gold. The fish don't generate much gold. Science booster. Just throwing a bunch of fish down. Like, anchovies, obviously, uh, it's not a lot of food. Herring's a lot of food. Putting down another tuna is an option, though. Maybe I should do that. Jason fish. Here's a fish, here's a fish. So I could put down the tuna. Oh, no, but then I was thinking I'd then upgrade it and remove it. That just gets them more food. <laughs> more clownfish around this thing. You do that. Or barrel eyes. I think barrel eyes are just the best for our gold. I don't, sea turtles costing 10 biodiversity is too much for me. How much does this guy give us? Two, uh, 225. Well, then again. 180 bonus. Wow. That's impressive. And putting more plants down is going to give more. Uh, then again, maybe we can put a second sea turtle. How many plants? Seagrass, sea anemone, and kelp, and sun coral. What are we missing? We have the sea anemone over here. We have the kelp, and we don't have any seagrass. Let's put seagrass down. I need to keep it separate from the expanse. I think we don't care about these resources so much. Let's just put it out in the middle. Is that going to get in the way? Oh. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll put it by the clownfish. That's a secluded spot. It'll boost the sea turtle. And then I think what we'll do is upgrade one of these tiles and put another sea turtle in barrel eyes. Let's do it on this one. I know I could do it on the sucker fish, but then I'd have to put the sucker fish back down. I don't want to. So barrel eyes is a fish. 
Food booster. Well, that doesn't help. <laughs> what do I put with a food booster? Too bad. We're going to cover it with barrel eyes instead. We just want the gold. Okay. We've got five fish and borders. We need one more. I think we'll put something on this science booster. The jellyfish? Distinct plants. Dang. We might just do that anyways. It's not the greatest, but it's distinct. Oh, it's not a fish. Dang it. Hmm. Put a herring down. Hmm. Then again. He's giving 25. He's giving 50 gold. He's giving 255. It's hard to pass that up. Yeah. Uh, our next draft will go to the rainforest again because I I only care about them. Yeah. We'll go to the rainforest. Heliconia, Jaguar, Cowco Tree, and Harpy. Oh. These are not the greatest options for us. I think... Well, none of these give size. Some of them give food. I like Cocoa Tree is not going to be used. Not going to be used. Hmm. Distinct tag on animals on this planet. We're going to have a decent amount of that. So here's something I was thinking about. Is Does the sludge factory completely destroy food on all the biomes? Or only the ones that the sludge factory people are part of? Because if it's only the ones that they're a part of, picking the cocoa tree would be fine. Heliconia is cool. I'd like to build around that someday. Oh, that's the thing I was thinking about. Alternating stuff. Anyway, uh, let's re-roll. Go for hemp. There you go. That's what we want. Each adjacent animals, though. We can put some animals down, sure. Okay. The Hunter's Town's still falling behind. These guys are doing fine. The botanist needs more science. These guys need more distinct animals. I can definitely put more distinct animals. That's fine. I can just throw a jellyfish in. So what? And then a barrel eyes. What else? We don't have any clownfish. I can just put a clownfish and a jellyfish and call it a day. I think we'll do that. We'll throw that over there. Actually, on your way there, just put a jellyfish out in the ocean, please. And so that will get the tavern locked in for the maximal food, kind of. Oh, more herbivore. Ah, oh, dang. If I were to put two more herbivores and we get a hundred more food, that would be worth it. We need them to expand a little bit. We're disinterested right now, but we could probably entice them. Let's put another anchovy. That gives us some biodiversity, and it's the herbivore. And then we want something further out. Let's see, if they go to inter interested... Okay, they're interested. So we could do it. Let's put another herbivore out there. Herring is probably the one. a herring out here. Or more anchovy. Oh, actually. I could do that. More anchovies, more biodiversity. Yeah. And then they'll expand. We only have 13 eon remaining to get the botanist some science. They need three more science. And they actually have another inspiration here. The wood workshop. 300. If there's six trees within bio... Oh, okay. Well, that's six tree biotica within borders. I can do that. Ten distinct plants for the Great Garden and a microcharge. I'm going to go for the wood workshop. That's easy enough. We'll just put Ramon trees down. Did I have any fancy trees? Not really. Gumbo Limbo, of course. But Ramon trees it is. One, two, three. Super easy. And that will 
be the end of the eon, I think. The era, excuse me. Okay, let's fast forward our little horse giant. Watch him race along. Good job, buddy. And for each remontry we put down, we get more biodiversity, which boosts our gumbo limbo as well. Remontry. Hmm. How much prosperity do we need for the third stage? I think we're probably good. We have 209 right now. So I think we'll be fine. There you go. Yeah, we only needed 175. So that's great. I... Should we wait? We don't need to wait. Oh, hold on. Here's a thought. We want to wait. And we want to draft stuff and use... We want to use our plant shop now. Because once we start the third era and pick the Sludge Corp, we only have 40 Eon to work with. We cannot expand that. So I want to make as much use of our time as I can right now to build the food up around here. I don't know how much of that I can actually do, but... Let's see what our draft charge is from this. Oh, then again, I don't think they're getting to 35 here. Hmm. Okay. So you're telling me putting a bunch of Ramon trees is not the optimal strategy for prosperity? We have done very little here. Hemp is the other option. Putting adjacent animals, we need to do a lot of work to get that. Let's just buy a draft charge. What should I spend on it? I'm not going to spend food because I know I want to put another nomad charge down at some point. We could spend our science or our wealth. But between the two, I feel science is less valuable. Let's do that. Draft charge, ocean... Expanse things. So there's an expanse thing with the white shark. What I really, really, really want is to find the... Oh, hey, look at that. There's more expanse things over here. Sargassum, sea bass. Oh, sea bass is a reef. Sunfish. Uh, 35 food if adjacent to at least two expanse biotica. So we could do that. I definitely do want to find the... What's it called? The blue whale. That's the whole point of this. So we should probably reroll for that. Sargassum, 60 food for each distinct set of plants and animals in the biome. That's... Wow. That is really good. I didn't realize. Huh. So you can get 240 plus 25. You can get 265 on Sargassum, which is a two-star. That's great. And the sunfish itself is okay, 55. Maybe I take this and then buy more draft charges. We'd have to buy a lot of draft charges to get a second draft. Uh, second ocean draft because after this one I think we need to draft one two maybe even a third other thing before we can come back to the ocean how many draft charges can I afford not that many hmm hmm challenging four cities with 35 prosperity for the world court okay what are we gonna do here I might not get the best sludge factory. They have 31 population right now. I don't even know how the sludge factory thing is counted up, to be honest. You know what? I think we'll take the sargassum just to be safe. I mean, 200 something is pretty good. How many expanse, distinct dis expanse biotica do we have here? We have quite a few. So if I were to get the blue whale, we'd be happy. I could upgrade the two sea turtle spots to remove that biodiversity cost. Upgrade the tuna fish. Put this, put the blue whale down. We'd want to put some things back down. Actually, I guess sea turtle itself is an expanse, so we'd want to keep them down, kind of. Um, we have quite a few as it is. Let's try rolling for it. I might really regret this. We only have four rerolls. Let's try. Got it. First try. And it comes with the sunfish. Perfect. It didn't come with the sargassum, unfortunately. Oh, seep community. 25 science and 4 biodiversity if adjacent to at least 1 deep and element biodicum. And itself is deep. Wait a second, so if I just put 2 of these together, they each give me 4 biodiversity? That's crazy. Wow. We got a marlin over here, but he doesn't come with a whole lot other than a sea bass, which isn't expanse. Well, this is great. Let's take this. We will. I kind of want to spend some time putting that sunfish down. I have some upgrade charges. We could remove this tuna. No, we can't. Is it on a two-star? 
It's on a two star, so we can't remove that tuna right now. We can replace it with a blue whale, though, of course. Um, if I were to replace things, I want to make sure that we still have six distinct or six fish. Is it six fish? Six distinct animals. Sunfish is a distinct animal, so we'd be putting that down. Um, the blue whale will be coming at the end, at the start of the next era, so we can't put it down just yet. 100 for each distinct expanse biotecum in this biome. Sunfish is a vital part of that. What else did we get with it? Did we get ourselves in more plants? No. Oh, we got a mineral, didn't we? Yeah, seep community. Right. So we can put that down at the start. Oh, and Titanfall. All, oh, all deep biotica gain 50 science. That's cool. Quite a few of these expanse things are, are deep. Blue will is. Anglerfish, too. Okay, there's a lot to do. Let's definitely buy some more Eon. I'm going to spend science on that. Um, if I replace just this anchovy... Well, we lock in the biodiversity, and then we put a sunfish down. We will have enough for the for the, um, the tavern or whatever it is that they have. I think that might be good enough, actually. It wants to be adjacent to two expanse biotica. Then I would have to put another expanse biotica down, but we would do that next turn. Next turn? Yeah, at the start of the e eon anyways. We'd have a two-star slot to put them in. Actually, we could put a barrel eyes. Let's do that. One more eon. There we go. We're going to upgrade the slot. And then expanse. And expanse. This is great. Okay. There we go. And just to make absolute sure, the tavern is still locked in. In fact, we even have way more than we need. So that clownfish was a waste of time. Good. Jellyfish too. Time has come for a new era. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, okay. So the fantastic fort. Um, yeah, we didn't really focus a whole lot on the forts and things. So these guys are all coming to have a little fight over their piddly fort. The botanist had the best fort. Traveling past that kelp. Well, you can't see a whole lot of what's going on here. <laughs> oh, look at that. They've got a little shrine to the ocean giant. That's cute. Okay. They're throwing rocks at each other. The pirate queen stands victorious. Okay, all right. Good for her. The castles and knights completed. Three star rewards, two aspect charges. Again, I'm not quite sure what's up with that. And we're looking at Sludge Core. <gasps> oh no! It's chosen the Pirate Queen for the Sludge Core. What? Oh no! Have a city with 15 population and 15 wealth. I bet the the diplomat probably doesn't have 15 wealth. Oh, I've messed this up. Oh, no. All right, well, I guess we got to do something else then. Uh, oh, but it'll let the diplomat do the Age of Horror. That's pretty funny. I don't want to do the Age of Horror. Forty wealth. Wait, have a city with at least three herbivore biotica or 20 wealth. She has... Well, I guess she doesn't have the wealth. She just has the herbivores. Ah, oh, I thought we were perfectly set up there for Sludge Corp. Um, how reasonably could we get this going for her, though? Actually, it's not that bad. We just put the blue whales down for the Pirate Queen. We can still do this. We upgrade a couple slots over there. We're up, we're planning to upgrade the slots with the turtle anyways, because he's using up 10 biodiversity. One of them is. And then we put down a couple of blue whales and just go from there. Okay, you know what? Let's still do it. It's just... A different person's doing it. That's fine. Pirate Queen has 25 wealth. She'll definitely have 25 wealth after the Sludge Court thing. Okay, Pirate Queen has 250 prosperity. Whoa. Whoa, okay, we, so we gotta really make her quite wealthy. Yeah, okay, let's, let's go ahead with this. Sure. It's still the same basic premise. 
It's just not happening over here. And that's okay, really. I'm glad it picked a city that was actually part of the ocean. <laughs> if it had picked one of these, we just wouldn't be able to do it. So North Grove Cove. What do you guys want? Sushi bar, 150 food for each set of plants and fish within borders. I guess that makes sense. Set of plants and fish within borders. But that's going to go away. Because as soon as the sludge thing starts, those are all going to disappear and won't be placeable again. I guess we could still place the clownfish, which it has a picture of. So maybe we just put down a bunch of clownfish instead of plants and fish. Oh, set of plants and fish. So we need to put some... We would have to put a bunch of plants down. And we don't have a lot of those that aren't sciencey. Or so aren't booty. Two of them. Hmm. I don't know if sushi bar is the best choice here. Lighthouse. If there are 12 ocean biotocum within borders, we can definitely do that. Although a lot of the biotocum are about to disappear. Country club for each gold in the animal within borders with the highest gold. We don't really have a good one for that. So I think lighthouse is the choice here. Yeah. We'll take it. Okay, so be it. And we need to give them more biotocum. First, we need to get rid of this turtle. This thing is 10 biodiversity. That's way too costly for us. Let's get over here. Have him come over and place blue whales. So we'll have 19 biodiversity. That's pretty good. We get a food booster, by the way. Ah, oh, dang. We have 40 Eon until this thing starts up. Before we reach that, what do we have? We have a few different things I need to put down. The anglerfish, blue whales, of course. I'm hoping to get two blue whales down. I think we will be able to. But we also have to place... What else? Are we missing any expanse things from the one and two star range? I think we got them all, right? So, suckerfish, barrelize, sea turtle, and then sunfish, anchovy. We have a tuna over here. Herring. I think that's good. Oh, oh, oh. The one plant. The seagrass. Where did I put that? Oh, yeah, I put seagrass over here. We're good with that. We have the sun coral. And then there was these two expanse things here, the seep community and the titanfall. All deep biotica on the planet gain 50. We definitely want to have those down. So that would be another 10 for this. So 10 for the blue whales, 10 for this. The titanfall itself costs four biodiversity, which hurts a little bit, but we'll kind of be generating four biodiversity between those four things. Between these two and the other two. Maybe we can do this. And, hey, look at that. Anglerfish plus 4.4 4 gold for each science in the adjacent biotocum with the highest science. So that's really good. I might even put that over here to help boost this person's biodiversity. Or not biodiversity, but prosperity. They need 100 prosperity overall. I think that would kind of make sense. Give them the technology and stuff. Because the wealth from the anglerfish is not going to be super valuable on North Grove Cove. They're going to get a lot from the sludge factory. Yeah. And then that also promotes them to build another trade route to hopefully buy that sludge. I'm going to kind of try to... Um... One, two... We need to do three upgrade charges for this, actually. What can we get rid of without losing Expanse? Bedrock could go. Anchovy could go. The jellyfish is kind of wasteless. Oh, useless? Wasteless? Wasteful? Uh, quick look at this, though. Hotel. Plus seven for each completed city request level on the planet. I definitely want to take that. Luxury shop, lighthouse, blast furnace. They're all fine. I like the hotel. Let's take the hotel. There you go. That'll give them a decent amount of prosperity on its own. Not bad. It'll get bigger as we complete all these requests. Uh, The tuna definitely needs to stay there. I can't... Oh, I don't want to replace this anchovy unless I put another fish there, which I was going to because it would be an angler fish. That would be fine. But then we'd be putting the Titanfall and the Seep community next to it. Oh yeah, of course, the Seep community is going to generate tons of biodiversity. I forgot. So that's alright. I don't care about the bedrock. This jellyfish is just sitting here doing nothing, though. Like, I'm replacing both of these, I guess. Yeah. yeah let's do that.
the adjacent biotech with the highest science. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead with that then. Call our little ocean buddy over. And oh yeah, I should look at the boosters before we do this. Hang on. We want oh we need more upgrade charges. What? Dang. We'll buy some. That's alright. Buy one of those. We're gonna have to buy a couple. So we're doing that. We are losing one biodiversity from the jellyfish by doing this. Oh well. Super booster on this. I think we'll just put the Titanfall there. Because I do want to have the fish beside this tuna, and I can't really spare a whole lot of Eon. Or can I? Oh wait, no, we boost the su if we super boost the Titanfall, then the Anglerfish makes more from it as well. That makes sense. Three star slot here. This guy puts the Titanfall down here. And then we put the Seep Community. Seep Community can really go anywhere. Put it over here. Oh no, yeah, it can't go anywhere. This thing wants to be next to a mineral. <laughs> there you go. And so this thing, everything's giving more technology to everybody. That's great. Oh, I didn't want to do this until we had the sludge going. <gasps> They're going to start trading for other stuff. We need the sludge. Hold on, guys. Dang it. I messed up. I was supposed to wait on that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And we still need to put our whales down. 24 biodiversity. Perfect. We're going to buy this. Upgrade whatever we want to out here. Oh, these are already level 3. Hang on. Whales. Go for it. I don't think there's any other expanded stuff to put down. 12 more for another blue whale. We can afford it. Alright, not bad. 1,200 each. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I don't have enough diversity for another one. Unless we were to put more seep community down. Let's try that. Seep community right here. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have enough for another blue whale. Um, before we do that... Okay, 30 out of 40 Eon has passed. I can just expand this, or upgrade this spot. Oh, look at the, <laughs> the massive flotilla of people coming out to check out the blue whales. Alright, it's working. We're doing it. More blue whales. On a super booster. Yes. It's working. It's working! I... Uh, I don't have anything for upgrading 3-star. What are our options for these? Summon micros. I don't have to buy any micros. We got these for free. Primary yield for each biotech that has a base science yield. Ooh. Dang, we can't use that on these. What about this guy? Flat food. We want percentage food, really. Primary yield. Let's do it. Primary yield on... On a plant? Lame. Okay, we can't do that then. It's only on plants. 25% uh, food, 4 mystery, and 1 biodiversity on a plant. Okay. Pirate Queen gives more mystery and gold. Well, let's just use a microcharge on this guy because we have some. So this thing for Biotech has a base science yield. These things don't have a base science yield, it's a bonus science yield because of the Titanfall. 50% gold, 25% food? You know what, that's the best we've seen. Let's use it. I can't sanctuary these guys, unfortunately, because we, for whatever reason, we can't place terraforming in the ocean. So you can't have a mountain in the ocean, you can't have a sanctuary in the ocean, you can't have a creek in the ocean. The creek in the ocean makes sense to me, but uh, it's weird that you can't put a mountain in or something. Actually, you know what would have made more sense is to put a flat food micro on this one because it's already on a super booster. Oh well. So they have food. They have a ton of food. That's wonderful. Now the trick after this is going to be getting everybody to trade with them. Because we need them all to acquire the sludge. We have one biodiversity remaining. 
What would be the best thing to put down? We have not a whole lot of biodiversity to spend. We could put down a sunfish. That's 55 food. I think that's as good as we're going to get, is 55 food. Put down another anglerfish somewhere. Um, plants, the sun crows, technology. And I, I'm pretty sure we've covered all the expanse stuff. I'm sorry if there's something I'm forgetting. In which case, it would be bu a bummer. Pretty sure we got them all. These whales are awesome. It's definitely not the highest numbers we've seen, of course, but I'm happy this worked. Uh, we need to just fast forward and let them gather all that food. We're at 3,000. Look, we're preparing to turn every 20 food from Biotica within borders into one sludge. Oh, boy. Also, well, it's from Biotica within borders, so they don't care about the lighthouse food output. Okay. That's good to know. I thought it was just sort of based on the amount of food that they had overall. Like, including from the lighthouse, but no. Oh man, when we do the when we do this, the lighthouse is gonna lose all their stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Oh well, that's alright. It'll be worth it. We're just gonna get so much from the sledge. Wow. Is this getting us? It's getting us to like 95 or something. One more wealth. If they had one more wealth, then we'd have great tortuga. Well, it's going to be pretty hilarious. We're going to turn it all into sludge, and they'll get all the money from other people buying their sludge, and then we will have Great Tortuga indeed. And we're getting a bunch of science from that Titanfall. That is really strong. 50 for each deep biotica? Okay. Alright. I don't know if we really needed to wait for it to count, but I just want to make sure. So 96. And then we're going to put a sunfish down here. Let's do it. So sunfish. This sunfish will be the end of us. All life will perish. <laughs> That's an app picture right there. The sludge must flow. Some big apples in the sky. All right, so now we need the Pirate Queen to have 250 Prosperity. She has this much food and this much wealth. Uh, she's got to recount all the food, I guess. 264 Sludge from destroying food biotica in the borders. Delicious. 10 gold for each population of cities that have canned sludge. So that'll keep expanding as she keeps gaining population, counting up the population here. But more importantly, it's going to expand when people trade with her because we can sell them canned sludge. 20 food for each sludge produced by Sludge Corp. 5280. That's a pretty good amount. I say 5280 is not too shabby. <laughs> oh, and now. Dang! I should have paid attention to that. We were getting all that population, so we had the three star micros. Oh, no, but the three star micros don't help because it's just for gold and mystery. So it didn't matter. All right. Well, we have 80 Eon remaining to do things with other towns. Let's start with Ashwood here. Ashwood, you guys would like some food, right? Tavern and Butcher. I think now we'll take the Tavern. That's funny, that was from last era. I, I never took it. The Tavern wants six distinct animals and boards. We have some. The main thing we're going for is another trade route so that they buy this stuff. Let's focus on getting them the gold first. Drafting. Um, we have to wait for them to acquire gold. It's going to take a while. I think we'll get there, though. So should I just fast forward? I guess what we can do in the meantime is Northern Grove Shrines. We need them to trade as well. These guys have... They do have a number of inventions. So it's possible Northern Grove Shrines will just buy... Get invention from them. They've already gotten primitive tools and they got sashimi from across the ocean. I hope they'll go for the... Food? We'll see. They have 30 population. Oh, look at that. They're at 99 out of 100 prosperity already. That was quick. Hmm. We need to get them some gold. They have the hotel. I guess... I don't know. I guess we can remove this sea turtle and put another sea turtle over here to get them the gold. I think we'll do that. Buy an upgrade charge. 
to use elsewhere, ironically. Still have 21 biodiversity, that's pretty good. And this sunfish disappeared. Oh yeah, hold on. Okay, so the red-backed vole and the rabbits are still here. Alright, so it only sludgifies the biomes that this town is part of. That's good to know. So it's just the ocean. We're just... We've just ruined the ocean, that's all. The rest of the planet is perfectly fine. And they'll have a lot of food to eat. But this is all figured out. Obviously, I'm... I'm not a big fan of this sort of thing in real life. But in a game, this is fun. <laughs> we need them to have gold. Oh, there you go. Great Tortuga is finished. So we get another charge. Upgrade charge, and we get a draft charge. Uh, for the draft charge, between the Taiga and the Rainforest, we're going to take the Taiga, because I want to get the gold for that town. Uranium Siberian Tiger. Reach distinct herbivore biodicum in this biome. Well, this is ironic, because I was trying to avoid the herbivores. But now that I understand how it works, that we're not losing all of our food, it's not a bad idea. Black Bear and Stellar Sea Eagle. Stellar Sea Eagle. If there are four critter biotica in this biome, they gain 100 gold and 2 biodiversity. The Black Bear gains 50 gold for each distinct adjacent critter, up to 2. It does get 2 rugged for each, so that's pretty helpful. Distinct herbivore, distinct predator biotica on the planet. I don't think we have a lot of those going on. This thing requires 12 biodiversity, too. Maybe we just put down some platinum. Reach rugged in this biome. Again, we don't have a lot of rugged, but... Putting these things down would give us some of the gold. That's all we care about is getting the gold. Ah. But then again, it's the Huntress. So, if it's the Huntress, we may as well go for the animals. Let's do it. Just to stay in theme. This thing is doing something. I don't know what. Oh, oh, right. Because we completed one of the requests. They just need nine more food. They have the wealth. They have 35 prosperity. One more prosperity will complete the world court. That's pretty easy. We can just put something down. Food wise. Um, the night jar, we never, oh yeah, right. We had a night jar. I never got around to using that. Each distinct adjacent critter. So these are not distinct, but if I replace this rabbit... Actually, how many critters do we have? This is a critter, this is a critter, this is a critter. Wow, there's so many critters. <laughs> They're all over the place. If I were to replace this fox, we'd get some biodiversity back. And then I would put a bear here. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, come on over this way. We're going to do this real quick. Get Ashwood City some sludge. We only need four more wealth. They're still counting the food. Okay. So, Black Bear here. And Stellar, that's not... Oh, this is... There's a few predators around. But that's not so bad. We could put a Night Jar. All fruit biotica in this biome gain three rugged. Um, I don't think we'll bother doing that. The Black Bear is going right here, so he's adjacent to these two. And this is not a critter, so we're not putting it next to it. The night jar costs biodiversity, so I don't really want to put him down. Oh wait, no, that just stacks up to two times, so we've already got it covered. There you go. Done. Problem solved. <laughs> That's as much as we can do. We don't need to surround him with more critters. Okay. World Court is happy. And that gets us another draft charge. With this draft charge, do we go for the rainforest? Maybe... I also do want to put a fifth town down, but we have... Well, I guess we need the sludge to spread. If we could get another town down, give it some wealth, and it buys the sludge, that would be so cool. It gains 5,000 food right off the bat. So you guys need a little bit more gold. They're going to make it. And I hope they buy from North Grove Cove. Okay, they're going the wrong direction. Stop it. Oh, you know what I should have done? 
<gasps> I should have put down the town in between because they'll have no no technology. So they would have they would have no inventions, so they wouldn't buy from them. They would just go to the right and buy from North Grove. Oh, I messed up. Okay. And thinking along those lines, I should put a town in between these two. We're going to need these charges. Just to force Northern Grove Shrines to buy from them. Dang it. Or, do we go for another 10 wealth? Yeah, they're getting statues. Really? You guys went for statues over canned food? Come on. Um... Okay, who do we have for Nomad? The goddess. For gold... Or food. Actually, food is... <laughs> I think we have to take food, right? It's gonna be super easy to satisfy. But, where the heck do we put them? This is kind of tough because of the botanist. I think we do put the expansion charges over here. Alright, Forest Giant, come on over. Do your stuff. I'm going to put these charges here. It's between borders, so I think it'll give us four land. There we go. And I'm going to do it one more time. Expansion charges. And so, in theory, we should be able to have our nomads settle over here. Excellent. Okay, so they'll settle there and travel to the west. I'm going to call that west. Um, we need them to get some gold. So... Wait, let them settle first. How much gold do they need? They need five more? Yeah, I think a sea turtle is just the best way to go about that. The angler... Oh, the anglerfish. Wait, what? The anglerfish disappeared, didn't it? Did I have it... Wait a second. He has five food outputs, so we can't... Oh, dang. We can't put him down again. Okay. All right, that makes it more challenging. That's hilarious, actually. I think sea turtle is the way. Distinct plants in the biome. See, that's a problem because there are not many plants in the biome anymore. Hmm. I have ruined the ocean. Oh, well, we'll try anyway. Put the sea turtle down on this three star slot. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. More Titanfall. Hmm? That could be cool. I have the diversity. Nine diversity. Well, we're putting a sea turtle down. Um, well, the sea turtle doesn't have to be in the deep. Oh, wait. We've got a two-star slot. I can put it here and then put a Titanfall there. We're not going to get five wealth out of this, though. Wow, who knew it would be so hard to get North Grove Cove to trade with people? Six distinct animals within borders. Like, we can do that. We have enough animals for it. So if I were to put another black bear down, we could stack some more rugged. Uh, having some amount of critters in the bow, I didn't realize. That's not bad. It generates some biodiversity for us. Generates a good amount of wealth. Stellar Sea Eagle is quite good. It's a Titan, apparently. Huh. Yeah, I am going to put the Titanfall down here. I know it's not needed, but it's just cool. go. And having done that, I probably need to add... 
Oh wait, we're getting gold out. Oh yeah, we get some gold out of it. That's nice. Hmm. Alright, over here, you put this down. It's gaining them. Wow, they have 11 biodiversity right now. Not bad at all. I can upgrade a tile to put down another one of those black bears, or we could put a Siberian Tiger at this point. Almost. Almost can. Heck, I could throw another Stellar Sea Eagle down. Wait, they're basically free, it's just the upgrade slot. Let's get the Taiga guy to come over here and expand our Taiga a little bit further. The expansion charges are so useful. I'm going to have the ocean giant come back over here. They're running back and forth across the planet, and that's okay. Let's get them to put the sea turtles down. My question here is, do I put a sea turtle in this two-star slot? I don't think so. I think what we do is we try... Oh, yes, yes, I do. I put a sea turtle down, and then we upgrade it to lock it in, and then we put more sea turtles down. That's the way. Puzzle solved. So he's doing this, but now nothing's going to happen because we have to wait for the Ocean Giant who's on the other side of the planet. Okay, so there's some gold. I, I do want more plants over here. Are there any other plants we could put down? No. <laughs> we have the two plants that we could possibly have. Can I draft the ocean again? No. All right. Hmm. That's as much as we're getting out of him. 200 gold's not bad. Oh, you know what? That might be enough on its own. I'm surprised. I did not expect that. Okay, I was overthinking it for sure then. Great, well that means if they, for whatever reason, buy from Northern Grove Garden, who has nothing. There they go. All right, let's watch things expand. So next, once they have the sludge, then we need Northern Grove Garden to buy from them. That's going to be a challenge because they're next to Rainton. But if we can get them to buy from them, from Northern Grove Shrines instead, then we're in business. Because that food would just be incredible. And of course that gives gold to North Grove Cove. And that's how they get their prosperity. They're at 201 prosperity right now. That's not too bad. How much gold do they get? They get 10 gold for each population of cities that have canned sludge. So it's just about spreading it around, getting everybody a lot of population, you know, doing stuff for the good of the world, good of the planet. Um, Huntress Town, you guys, I mean, same, same ideas. Get them five more wealth. Let's get back to doing that. More Stellar's J. Sir, Stellar's Sea Eagle, sorry. Night jar, is that worth putting down? For each adjacent fruit or bird. You know what, I think it is. Uh, then again, if we put it here, surround it with Stellar's Sea Eagles. That's pretty good. Oh, they only get five food for each mystery. They don't get any gold out of it. Oh, that's surprising to me. But... That jar is just really nice. All fruit biotica gain rugged. We don't have any fruit biotica going on. Maybe I just put the Siberian Tiger. Yeah. Let's upgrade this tile. Distinct predator on the planet. Hmm. We'll put this over here. The Siberian Tiger right here. Okay, so how much do they give? Eh, that's not bad. 654 is pretty good. And it could certainly be higher if we had actually built around that. Distinct herbivores in the biome. Do we have more? Oh, this is a herbivore. I just took this spot, though. I could replace it and then put a Siberian tiger elsewhere. You guys are herbivores and predators. Nice. Uh, Crossville is another herbivore. 
chase into at least one tree. No, they're trading, but they're trading with the wrong people. No, don't buy from them. Dang. Well, you know what that means, though? Because they've bought primitive tools and statues from them. They don't have anything else to buy after they've purchased furniture. Man, these, these are terrible inventions. Rain is not very good at science. Um... Okay, there you go. 5,000 food coming in. <laughs> yes. Northern Grove Garden. We need you guys. You know what? I think we're going to focus on this side because it's very likely that Northern Grove Garden is just going to get their trade route with Rainton. So let's focus on getting the can sludge to Ashwood because they only need one more trade route. Oh, wait a second. They already have it. We already did. We, we gave them enough wealth that they're going for North Grove Cove now. That's perfect. So... Now that that's the thing, all we need to do is get Rainton to trade with Ashwood. Ashwood has one invention. Rainton has purchased dried fish from Northern Grove Shrines. Dried coral? <laughs> they just know how to dry things. Museum piece. <laughs> People sure love looking at the dead stuff he made. Yep, that's apparently all that Northern Grove Shrines knows how to do. And ideally they would have been a sludge factory, but that's okay. All right, now things are going to start because, wait, what? They bought dried fish? How do they even do that? Oh my goodness. All right, we need to get them more gold. Uh, sushi bar, steak restaurant, safari guidepost. There are four distinct predators within borders. Um, do we have four distinct predators in the taiga? That's one. Two, three, four, five, even. Yes. Safari guide it is. There you go. So that should give him 600 gold. Time for another trade route, guys. I've got food for you. Oh, wait. Oh, they have it. Can't sludge. They have it. When did that happen? Oh yeah, that's North Grove, sorry. Sorry, I thought I had Ashwood City selected. Um... <laughs> 400 gold. We're just waiting on that. May as well fast forward it, right? Okay, 12 out of 15. So we will get there. Bam. They're going over here. They're not buying dried fish. They're going to buy canned sludge. Right? Yes! Yes! Here we go! It is working! Look at all that food. Um, now, Rainton, we've got something for you. You need a little bit more gold. How do we get gold in the rainforest? Oh, shoot. I didn't consider that. I think what we'll do is actually replace the rainforest with taiga specifically to get them some gold. I'm gonna go over here, put some taiga down. Because this is gonna get them the population anyways. So they don't need more reinforced. It's all about that can sludge. And then we'll upgrade that tile. And put... Oh. Actually, I should probably put some more of this over. There you go. We're just gonna put some stellar sea eagles. Wait, what? They're missing critters. How many critters do we have? Oh no! The sludge spreads. Oh, the sludge spreads. I did not think it would work that way. I'm still okay with it, but that's kind of a shame. Uh... Awkward. So we don't have the Sky Master. Wait a second, we can just throw down some more stoats. Those are critters, and they don't give food. Even Nightjar is a possibility. Alright. Our bear, unfortunately, has disappeared because he has food on him. Ah, oh, dang. Crossbill is a critter. Alright, we have options. Put a crossbill over here, and we have a three-star slot. We don't have enough biodiversity. Oopsie daisy. That's alright. We'll get these guys some more critters so that we we can pay off our diversity debt. Furniture to North Grove Cove. Hang on. 
Ashwood City. Oh, okay, going in that direction. That's fine. You guys are allowed to do that. Uh, I have more drafts, by the way. Taiga? Sure. Silver, brown bear, Larix, and Sequoia. Well, we're not going to take brown bear. Silver. 0.6 for each science and adjacent biotica. Hmm. Or the Sequoia. I like the Sequoia. That's a cool one. And it comes with a red cardinal. 30 gold if adjacent to at least one fruit. I don't know if we'll be doing that. Okay. So we just want to put more critters down. That's all we care about at this point. Uh, stoats and crossbills it is. Ah, Saba Saba. Uh, animal booster, sure. We have 45 eon remaining. We're fine. I can buy a lot anyways. <laughs> Look at all the population we have to spend on eon. There you go. Huntress is happy. She has the animals in her orders again. More draft charges. Excellent. And they're still counting stuff up. The stellar eagles are pleased. So we can go back to putting some of those down. I have three star slots. We're going to put... Stellar Sea Eagle over here. Wow, it just seems so strong. I guess the actual numbers of resources isn't much. 100 gold's not a lot. Well, 140 gold's not a lot for 3 star. But, you know, it's pretty easy. Builds a lot of diversity for us. And after putting those down, hopefully these guys will be interested. Yeah, they will be. There you go. Off they go. That's going to get them some gold, which will hopefully get them a trade route. And from there, the world is our oyster. Although, there's the potential that they... No, they can't buy from North Grove. Yeah, perfect. So we're good. Once... There you go. They've collected the gold. Not showing it. Oh, because I've clicked... I've clicked on the other guys by accident. Hang on, we're good. So now there goes the trade route. Do, 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 do across the wasted land. And can sludge. Ho, 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 ho. And now for the last part of our plan. Let's get the new little sage settlement to super boost their food. Uh, how do we get them some gold? Oops. I didn't think about this. We need five gold for them. I have... Adjacent to a tree, adjacent to a critter. We could probably get to five gold just by doing those sorts of things. Adjacent to a tree. How about these? Oh, look at that. Mika and Obsidian. We haven't played with those at all. Amethyst. Let's just do it with random stuff from the rainforest. Rainforest, come on over here. The Pirate Queen is gaining profit. She's getting a lot of gold from all the people buying the pan sludge. So nice. Okay, Northern Grove, you guys are part of the wasteland. But we want to give you a tree so that we can have some parakeets here. So parakeet, if adjacent to a tree, we'll do that. And then we'll have a pit viper next to that. Uh, Spider Monkey, we could do that, but it would require an upgrade charge. I don't feel like putting an upgrade charge down right now. Ramon Tree is great. Put on this little science booster. And then we can also add the Amethyst. Oh, Green Capital. Hey, look at that. They want more stuff, they'll get it. We can inspire them with something. Furniture factory, apothecary, and jam maker. Um, well, jam maker's not gonna happen. Apothecary for 1.2 science per science in medicinal biotica within borders. We did pick hemp, which is a medicinal biotica. Or one science for each science in the tree biotica within borders with the highest science. Something about that. I think I took the sequoia, didn't I? So we could get a decent amount of science in that. Um, no, we might go for the sequoia. Yeah, eight diversity. It does need some more diversity in the environment, but for each adjacent lost biotica, what is lost? A 
fir tree is lost. We can't put the rowan down. That would be a little bit. I don't know if there's many lost animals. Oh, you know what? We don't have much lost stuff. Maybe we'll go with the medicinal things instead. I don't know. We'll think about it. Uh, Northern Grove, you guys. Oh, they need a little bit more wealth. That's fine. We can do it. Let's give them another parakeet. Is that enough? Yeah, 15. Perfect. Oh, the time has come to conclude the planet. Oh, no. Wait, maybe it has. Maybe this is enough on its own. I'm going to take the apothecary. So we'll gain some science out of it. They are trading. Here goes the trade route. We're just going to see how much we get out of this. I guess we do want to get the Pirate Queen to 250 still. Which, I mean, considering they have four Biotica in their borders, we could do. <laughs> we just have to buy some Eon and throw some Biotica down. But I plan to have Sage Settlement pay for them. Pay them for that food. There we are. Northern Grove Garden. Level 1 settlement. Hasn't even gone 3 population yet. And here they're going to get 5,000 food. Boom. <laughs> Great success. Alright, let's watch them count things up. They already have a good number of plants and borders for when they require that. That's hilarious. And somehow they're generating the money for the sludge to pay the pirate queen for this. Up to 60 population? I think we'll get there. It's so goofy. I love it. I made all of this off of some blue whales. A lot of blubber in these cans. Did I do this too? Fruit picker, farm, ocean shrine, and herder's hut. Uh, we're not doing any of these. We like literally can't do any of them. <laughs> okay. Unless the parakeets are herbivores. Oh, they are. Okay, so we can do the herbivore one. Sure. There we go, so we'll get to 60 here. There we are. More draft charges, more upgrade charges. This is crazy. Oh, look at our overall prosperity. We're at 970 something. I've never been this high. Wow. And the prior queen should reach her 250. 90. Everybody 90 plus? Yeah, 92, 96, 105. Holy cow. Okay. Sludge Corp is very strong if you build for it. Whoa. They're getting 4,500 gold out of it. <laughs> um, they need two more prosperity. We might actually have to build something for them. I don't think they're going to be getting two more prosperity out of the few population remaining here. So what do we do? In the ocean, we have 12 biodiversity. I can put whatever I like. Put some. We could put a turtle down. I think that would be a fitting end. Yeah, sea turtle. Um... I can't use the anglerfish. Bear lies? We could put bear lies. How much do they need? They need a total of 28 gold. Or anything, really. Put a sea turtle. On a science booster. Oh, we need Eon. Yeah, yeah, sure. Fair enough. We'll buy some Eon. 353 population! <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Animal booster? Perfect spot. Hooray! We only completed the three stars once we got past 1,000 planet prosperity. Look at that, though. 
That sea turtle's giving so much because of the diplomat spirit. Oh, and it's on the three star slot, it's on an animal booster. That's pretty wild. But we hardly use micros too. Like we put a single micro down on one of the blue whales. I could have certainly done better with that. But this sludge factory really carried us. Which is good. Because that was the plan. Mission accomplished. Northern Grove Gardens has another request. Yeah, okay, all right. Let's, let's, what do you got? Oh, click on it. Cake baker, nope. Mill, nope. Coral diver. All right, these are not really happening. Plants within borders, sure. That's a potential possibility. So be it. There you go. <laughs> like, these guys have, they have that within borders. And they have 86, <laughs> 86 population. That's so funny. The Siberian Tiger is cool. I like that. If we were to build around it. A hundred wealth. That sludge port. 4,700 gold. 5,000 food for every city on the planet. That was awesome. Alright, conclude. It's a little bit dimmer on this planet now. The atmosphere's not feeling so healthy. Through the hard work of the Sludge Corp CEO. Maximum value has been created for Sludge Corp shareholders. And everyone around the planet. Honestly, to be totally blunt, our planet benefited greatly from it. Focus groups report a rise in happiness. All right, planet completed. There you go. Calmera, castles and knights, sludge. And over a thousand prosperity. Oh, we got three stars on each of them. At this point, it actually doesn't really matter if we get three stars on each because we're not unlocking any new Apex Biotica, but that's okay. All right, well, that was great.